things, and I didn't realize it. We that's are how, live. That's how they restrict you. Gotcha. Well, that it's makes so sense. Cheap. It's so cheap. It's ridiculous. It's not bad. It's not bad. Was it nine dollars for the first, the mm-hmm. the lower tier? Yeah. Totally. All right. So I'm here live with uh, my good friend Eli Dervante. And what what is um what is the origination of Dervante? French. French. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm Dominican. Okay. So cool. yeah. Mm. So my good friend and I have met through some online courses over the past few months, and uh, we like to share tidbits about software that we both use. And uh, we are um, we both currently having a ball working with this uh, free software called CapCut, which uh, is very super powerful, man. I'm impressed. How about you, Eli? <clears throat> Listen, I was shocked. I decided to uh, take the plunge in a tutorial in the last 24 hours. Mm. And it was just already impressing me in the last few weeks. I've been using well, I've been using it for more than a few weeks. The simplicity of it and the speeds and everything else and the UI, it's just beautiful to use. But when I went through the tutorial, I was shocked. And I thought, well, I've been misunderstanding this beast yeah of thing yeah. you know us and well me as an amateur video guy it makes me look good it, it, it's, it, it's so easy to use and so powerful at the same time anyone can use it it has yeah. a lot of great features i've been editing video for years and i've uh, been using premiere adobe premiere pro and uh also dabble with um uh, black magic da vinci you know Mm-hmm. it's uh they're all phenomenal but they're very they're very complex and so you intensive. gotta release intensive, uh, da vinci so. i've heard good things of saying oh, that's uh oh my god it's so it's good. an ass whooper i've heard about it, that it is but so good but it's we're talking we're talking premiere uh well premiere and da vinci are probably the mainstays as far as the top top dog video editors and da vinci's free is it not uh no it's not you can't well actually you can you can get a free version of it mm-hmm. but it's really powerful when you get the the full version um it is super powerful but yeah they have a they have a free version you can use which is still super powerful you know um so we've been uh i have been using CapCut for my social one of the great things about CapCut is it's super super friendly and the workflow works fantastic with social media uh, stories, man, God, man. You, and, you, and also it, you can have, you can, uh, use the app on it as well on your phone. Mm. So, and it, I can shoot video on my phone, edit it on my phone and still have the same, same power that I would on my, on my desktop right here. And that's pretty, what's the uh, amazing, amazing thing about it. It's the actual phone can, yeah. does pretty much 90% what the desktop does. Yeah. And- just learned, um, learned on the um, phone, and I thought it was amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, but the the power of just what you can do on the phone, and mm-hmm. what they've really added to it lately in the last what is it now? I think six weeks now. What they needed to do was make sure that they connect as in the desktop and as in the phone, because it was frustrating. You'd you'd do something on the phone, right? Yes. do a video and you couldn't work back on your desktop or vice versa right they've just brought out where the facility where you whatever you kind do in the phone, it goes in the cloud and you can yeah. always get to it in the desktop and etc yeah. so that really pulled it together which is really nice very cool yeah, really yeah. Mm. now i after now one of the cool things about using a free software is you get to see how powerful it is and then of course they tease you with some some features that uh aren't available unless you do pay i mean that's that's the way it works. But um, the the paid feature is still very affordable. You know, it's an mm-hmm. annual fee. I think it was like $79. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, it's the, the one thing that I love, the one feature that I really get out of that is the um, automated ca- uh, captions, mm-hmm. right? So if you're if you're speaking in your video and typically nowadays in your social media you need to use captions so you can go through and type it all in um however that's time consuming 
So what this automated captions does is it captures the audio and turns them all into captions. Now, you, sometimes you have to go in and, and do some editing and make sure that things are in the right spot, but they're pretty, pretty close, you know, well, it gets you that, in the ballpark, doesn't they? Yeah, it does. It and that, so that's an, basically we're entering into the, uh, the AI realm, which is, uh, your territory, uh, our mm -hmm. territory we've been playing in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, it's, it's a, so they have uh, a couple other AI features in it that are pretty amazing as well, which we have both recently discovered. Um, one thing in editing for me is, um, being able to shorten up the gaps. Cause when we speak and we communicate, we're shooting a video where we want, we want the final product to be fluent and, and we don't want a lot of space and gaps. We want to keep the, the viewer's attention at all times. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going through and I'm cutting out all the gaps and that's time consuming. Well, they now have added this uh, feature, which, um, can detect gaps and repetitive words and also detect things that, you know, you don't want. And that's the, not the ums and ahs. The ums and ahs, ahs. exactly. Yeah. So it, um, on first try, I was having a hard time with it. It wasn't, wasn't, uh, very efficient. I had to go back and re re edit it a couple of times. And so it really just kind of added more editing time for me, but recently they just did an update. Um, and it's getting better. It's getting better. It's not perfect yet, but you can see that they're really, they're fine tuning it, you know? Um, and then the other thing that, excuse me, um, you pointed out is it has a feature of, uh, um, smart cut, smart cut where it catches the scenes. Like if you, if you're loading up a video and it has a lot of sh scene shots changes from one scene to another, it will automatically splice it. Right. Yeah, it's that, really powerful. I haven't yeah. used that yet. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's amazing. I I love it. And it all depends. And also, it can take time sometimes. It just depends how big the video is. So if the video is around 20 minutes, then it's it takes about probably about two minutes to, to process. It doesn't take long, no. um, you know, considering um, the video size. But um, the splicing is amazing. I took, a, what was that video that was about an hour, long form video that was an hour? Mm -hmm. And it spliced up about 100 pieces, 110, wow. I think it was something like that. Oh, it was like kindergarten, man. It's just like a sweetie shop. I just thought, wow, do you know how many combinations of short forms you can make from this? You know, when you're, you've got 100 pieces there and you can put it together as a puzzle. And if you want to just create something out of an hour yeah, and into something just 30 seconds or something like that, you could the amount of footage you can create just from one long form and yeah. how they saved it, saved mm -hmm. you time, um, was beautiful. So I was playing around with that and, and seeing how they um, they structure everything. So, yeah, you know, if you want me, I can share that. And, and yeah, then, um, we can. Because we know that. we know from our uh, courses we've been taking that short form is the greatest uh, part of the funnel and bringing people into your content. Yeah, uh, the reels and the stories and um, creating captivating short form. Um, and I've been playing with that myself. So if you have something that you're trying to cut down into a short form, if you shot it yourself or you're using someone else's video, that's a very powerful tool. Yeah. Yeah. No, cool. totally. Why don't you show us how to do that? Yeah, I can show you. I can show you. Yeah. But you show me first. Ah! All right. <laughs> All right. I'm going I've been, to. Uh... I've been eager because you're the video man. <laughs> so I've been biting at the bit, waiting to get you on live. So I thought, okay, come on. This. Because cool, I'm cool. Not... I, I haven't been editing video at all. I only started really just recently. I'm a sound man, but I'm not a video man. That's right. You are a sound man. All right. I'm trying to Let's see here. All right. I'm going to share my. Cap cut screen here. All right. See my cap cut? Uh -huh. You see, nice. I've already got some some videos here. And I can see how you've got your spaces already set up from the cloud on the left hand side there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you've uh, got you've updated a version with it. Very cool. Yeah, it is it is cool because I'll edit some things in my on my phone. Mm -hmm. Um That's your web version. Yeah. Cool. 
Oh, oh mm. you've got pro. You're a pro man. Yeah, I did a pro. I went pro. <laughs> mm, I don't blame you. Uh, but the thing is, I'm quite disappointed because the uh, um, from my point of view, because I've got pro on my phone. And I thought it was once you got pro, you got pro with everything. And for I some had reason, the same issue. I ended up buying pro for both because I couldn't get them to connect. I, and, and I, I think it's a liberty. I've paid for pro, man. Why do I need to pay for pro? Yeah. Each? yeah. <laughs> you know. So technically, I'm a double pro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I tried to get hold of um, uh, customer service too. And typical of this day and age, do you think you can find a telephone number? Do of you course think not, you man. can find no. an email? It's and are like, you going to talk to a real person, right? You, do you know what I mean? <laughs> now, it's, now we're going to deal with AI. That's right. What, what do you want? We are here. <laughs> we are in AI. We are in the matrix. You are bugging me. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Um, so as, as we both know, um, and we'll share with the audience, we both do uh, several different things. I am a, a musician. I'm a looping performer. And I have also several different accounts for different things. Um, I do my my music website, which is why I'm going to show you some things that I just edited last night. Um, and then I also have a new brand that I just started called Life Loops, which I've shared with you. Um, and that's kind of a, a motivational thing. It's It's... I have taken, I have correlated what I do with my music, my life, my live looping and, and kind of correlated that with loops in our personal lives that we create and kind of, kind of bring those, those, uh, like whether it be habits or, uh, characteristics, characters that we have in our personal <laughs> personalities, things that we can do just to try to live a better life. So mm -hmm. that's one brand. And then I also uh, have a meditation website. Um, but it's nice to, um, to be able to differentiate your different brands. Um, this one I'm going to show you is um, an edit I just did last night. Um, and here we go. Oh, it's the wrong one. Oh, there we go. All right. So no, it's not showing it. Hold on. Got to get the right window in. Mm -hmm. Get this screen. There we go. Can we, can we see it? I can see the same cap oh. cut. Hold on. That I one. See. That's see. one we want. There we go. Mm -hmm. um, th this another tutorial on learning this software that we're using. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. So, here is just a little view, preview. Try to get it. Don't think there's any video showing. Nothing showing actually. So what could be going wrong here? I take it we're supposed to be hearing music and video and whatever else. Can you hear the music? No. No, neither. All right. No. That's not Can you? Then. Can you hear? Yeah, me? I hear it, but. Uh, okay, what about the video? Is the video showing on your side? Yeah, you don't see the video? No. Oh, it's not showing that either. That's very strange. Oh, that is strange. How are you showing this? Are you showing this as in CapCut or are you showing I'm your showing screen? It, I'm showing it within CapCut. Within CapCut. So what's going on now? Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm hearing it, but you're not hearing it, right? No, not hearing anything at all. Right. And on the side, when you've got your assets, mm -hmm. there's these double edged arrows within the assets. Do you yep. see that? Yep. Click on the the double edge um, arrow for CapCut. That now, now play it. That gives it a priority. Okay. Press play. Let's see if it. Now I hear or see nothing. Don't see I, I see the I see the light I see the um the timeline moving, 
Gotcha. There's no, there's no video. There's no sound, which is strange. That is strange. Okay. Do you want me to try and see if there's a... Hmm. Should I show my cap cut? Yeah, give it a shot. All right. Sh share uh, yours. Let's, uh... <clears throat> okay, let's, let's see. So where have I got window, live, entire screen? Right. So why isn't my cap cut not showing? <laughs> Um, two software gurus walk into a bar. Yeah, it's not showing CapCut. I don't have the option to. Uh, yet I've got it open. Okay, let me shut it down and open it up. And maybe I need to open it up as a. Fr okay, there you go. There you go. Now it's come up. All right, I had to shut it down and open it up again. Okay, now it's working. All right, here we go. All right, can you see my CapCut? Yeah, there we go. Right. Okay. So, what's this? Okay. Right. Good. Now you're gonna have to um, share that other screen because I had the same issue. Really? Y yeah. So I. Okay. I so when it opens up another, goes into another internet. Yeah. Okay. Right. So all right. So if I come back into here, then uh, thanks for letting me know. So how would I do that then? So go to window. Go to share and look for that. There See? you go. Wow. There we go. That seems strange that it's done that actually, because it's yeah. within the same program. Okay. But we know. Go. So see, this is what see we're learning. You see, you can tell yeah, we're right. old geezers trying learn, to learn, learn our way through. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. So basically what you can see, Ken, I'm gonna press play. Yeah, let's same thing. Can you hear? Can yeah, you hear I don't. I don't hear anything or see anything. Yeah. So we okay, we're not okay, able to sure. share the audio of that. Hmm. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can you see the movement on the screen? Though? Yeah, I see the timely timeline moving. And do you see the video? I don't see any video. All right. So you and see the same anything. thing, the same issue I had. All right. All right. So let me just yeah. look on. Um. Let me have a look within this software we are using, and share tab audio yeah window so if i click on that does it give us an option for oh all right what's going on there <laughs> wow okay so let's try something different let's try the entire screen okay let's go let's go there's always a workaround we never say no right can you see that yeah all right can i you see it can you see the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Can you see the timeline? Yep. Can you hear? I it, faintly hear something way in the background. What? No, you can't hear that, no? Mm -mm, yeah. But you, you can see the video. I do see the video, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we don't have sound for some whatever reason. I don't understand why that's the case, because there's no other options other than what I've just seen. Right. If if I quickly go back to the software we're using for streaming, let's have a quick look. So we got uh, share. Yeah, when I'm looking at sharing, mm -hmm. you can obviously see the streaming. Yeah. Yep. Right. Okay. So we got window entire screen. The, the way I did it was this. Doesn't, oh, yeah. dead look. Share yeah. system audio. There you go. Right. Ah, okay. duh. That. See that? Let's go. try that now. All right. But you have to share your entire screen. It, it just doesn't work when you try to share the app. Makes, makes sense. It's your overall. Right. So if we press play and to save you time, there you, there you go. go. To be more prepared. right. Okay. So this is um, one of these tutorials that I did myself. Mm -hmm. Um, so I recorded a long form myself, which went on to, oh God, that's what probably the shortest long form I've ever done, which was, I usually bore people to death after about 20 <laughs> minutes. So I've obviously kept it short so people wouldn't fall asleep at 11 and 11 minutes, 30, maybe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so basically what's happened, this is the long form, all right? You see in the Welcome, top. Welcome, and we're here today to. Right. So what I've done, I've. When it comes to chopping up, remember we was talking about this smart chopping, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so I've dragged <clears throat> my long form into the media mm -hmm. and imported a long form. Right-click, 
split scene. Nice. nice. And what happens, it did its thing, I think it was about two minutes, two and a half minutes. No, it wasn't even that because it was only a, a 10 minute, just over a 10 minute short form anyway. And then what happened, it came out, you see this folder? When it's finished, it came oh, out oh. With, with that. All right. So, so it puts, it, puts in it, in it in its own, own folder. folder. It puts it in its own folder, and and for you to go back into the root, you you see here where it says all. Yeah, yeah. You just click oh. on all, and it goes back into the root, and you can nice, see nice. the chopped up folder with the long form. And so then you're in a situation where you can just literally, uh, if I get rid of this, this is the long form, I can literally just drag and drop and splice them together how mm -hmm. i see fit um you've got in each video the length of each one as you can see 16 seconds in that one that one's one hour 130 etc mm -hmm. um and as i said what you can do is just drag and drop or you, you can click the plus button if i make this smaller or you click there's a plus button there yeah yeah and it'll just automatically to, to the to whole thing <clears throat> um as simple as that um and it just saves now unfortunately what it is my long form obviously there wasn't a lot of chopping and going to one section to another within the long form but if you if you go to a, like a typical video where they have a lot of graphics and things like that you'll end up having a huge amount of chops done for you sure and sure. you know get you started but the main thing is it's found in interesting points of my video anyway regardless so it helps me puts me even though this one may be you know one minute 30 or, or whatever else at least i i've it's it's a, a point of interest right so this one minute 30 i can now listen to so if I click and then i can chop it again after listening to that one minute 30 and i may find three chops three splits in this does that make sense yeah yeah absolutely. absolutely so even though it's you know it hasn't made as many splits as other videos it still found me points of interest and it gave me a good starting point. So regardless, it saved me a huge amount of time. So I'm now in a position where I can do loads of shorts from one long form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's really, really interesting from that point of view. Um, and it's as simple as that, really. Nice, That's nice, man. man. Um, I know what you now you were trying to show us something. You was having yeah, yeah. trying to show us. I'm going, I'm going to, to reshare. reshare. Yeah, come on. In the same, same way, way you did. did. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna shut down. All right, oh, right. Gonna, I'll, I'll move this. this. I'm gonna stop sharing. Oh, okay. Stop sharing, stop sharing. Stop sharing. Right. Okay. <laughs> back on you. It's back on you now. All right. So find the entire don't, screen. don't forget when you untie screen audio at the bottom your system audio there we go all right okay that's enough to make your head spin <laughs> all right there you go. there's my cap cut there we go can you hear it? see it now yeah 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 see it so i'll just play it and and mm -hmm. Just uh, that's just that's see, I've got a lot of uh, I'm echoing. Echoing. <laughs> what because I'm, I'm hearing, hearing your feed, feed. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, hearing myself, myself on your feed. feed. Yes, that's right. I had the same thing, <laughs> so you have a little delay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I know the fit, I know what you're talking about. Um, so here's here, I'll just play it and let you see it, and you see all the assets. Just, just for uh, context, this. I'm use I created this as a little reel for my YouTube because on my mm -hmm. YouTube channel where I my music page, I go on and do lives. You know, I do I do lives on my Facebook uh, music page and also do lives on my YouTube page. Mm -hmm. And it's great about going live like we're doing now. But you get to you, I I have been meeting some people from all over the world. I got someone in Philippines watches me on Facebook. Um, some people in Texas and Alabama on YouTube, um, had someone in, um, uh, Portugal and Argentina, a couple guys from Argentina. It was really cool. You know, so they're popping in and checking it out. Um, so I decided to create a little kind of a promo to throw in my reel and this mm -hmm. is what I made.
have it. Do you know, Do you know what? I like, I like the, the end. end. Yeah, isn't that cool? Um, when you're social. Social. So, so what I've done, and I started doing that with uh, my life loops. Remember um, my life loops mm -hmm. uh, things? Same thing with that. Um, and I started doing it with this too. Um, that's my handle, Scott Kurtz Music. And, it, and that handle works on every one of these. Uh, I'm glad I've got, got the brand. brand. Oh, oh, that's, that's so, so weird, weird, man. I hate, I hate it myself. myself. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. I, now, now I know, I know why, why people, people try to whoop my, my ass. ass. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't whoop my, my ass. ass. Uh, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> um, no, no, the, the great, great thing, thing is, is that, that you've got, got that handle, handle which covers, covers everything on their social, social media. So the right. person just has to remember one time and can yeah. catch you anywhere. And they, they don't have, yeah, they got the handle, they go look at it, and they're going to pick the choice of platform that they like, you know. Yeah. Um, but so the cool thing about now, what's this is really neat? Um, I'll go through some of these assets here. Let's go back to the beginning. All these, see that little effect here? Mm -hmm. That is within the effects. The effects, mm -hmm. you know, uh, that's called the TV on right up here. You see that? And you drop that in, and that's what this is right here that I'm highlighting. And you can edit the effect a little bit. The the it says lateral chromatic aberration, the strength of it, the speed. Um it, so it it's pretty that's that in itself, just to be able to edit the details of the effect is pretty mm -hmm. fascinating. Here I have a little thing called glow. This is another effect. That's what this is right here. I'm pointing at but i've selected the effect and you can select where you know how what part of the video you want it to cover right mm -hmm. if it's just one clip i have it playing over my whole clip and that clip is here that i've selected um so i've selected that i adjust the amount of glow See so it kind of brighten up like that or dim down. Just adding something to it for effects. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, with the TV, there was the audio part to it. That's what this is right here. And so that actually is within the audio part. Um, I just typed in and put typed in static. And it was one of the top ones. Mm. and so static am and then also has so i'm gonna I, i'm not gonna hit it because it's really loud when you'd sample it <laughs> um i'm gonna copy this and drop it over here so this is the full static clip and i just edited which part i wanted i'm going to highlight that let me see so this is what it sounds like Hello, what happened? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh I see. see. So I just picked which part I wanted to make mm -hmm. it fit to fit the um, the scene, and that's, that's how I kind of created that little effect there. And then we also have the icon, these little icons which are stickers. And there's tons of little stickers you can search for. The only thing I wish they had What's was a little search bar up here. There's not a search bar where if you want something, you know, specific. Yeah. Um, so you kind of got to scroll to find something. But so that's what this is little. And then you can scale that position it. Um, another icon was the subscribe button, right? And the cool thing, too, is you can have them animated. I chose to have it spring in like that. That's part of CapCut's animation tool right here. Mm -hmm. I can have it bounce. See it come in a little slower. I can change the speed of that down here. Five, five seconds. Um. I can do a fade in. There's all kinds of fun stuff with any 
any object that you drop into it. Um, and let's see, here's the, here's the, the, the little arrow pointing at the, the fun guy over here. Um, and then of course the out, the, I did the same thing with going out here with the effects, right? I used TV off mm -hmm. and that's what this part is. Now this part, I, 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 I like, like the sound, sound effect that you put, you put it with it at, at the end. end. Yeah. And so that's, that's what I was just going to share with you. Mm -hmm. Um, this right here. I picked another song. I took, so this is a, just a clip of my, my big long. What I did is I, this is the, the main uh, video clip, the long version, right? This is two, almost three hours long. So I went to my YouTube channel and downloaded the clip and then dropped it in here. And I'm picking, I'm making a bunch of these little things for mm -hmm. YouTube reels. So, and I found a, song that with a different beat so it stands out kind of redirects your attention and you can go in here right click on the the, the audio clip and see here it says separate yeah, audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah so i separated the audio mm -hmm. and this is even cooler i clip i click on the audio part and drop it where i want it right i i, I selected you know what part i wanted so it's just like <laughs> I added this vocal, this, these vocal effects so I could change the timbre of it. It's unique. So it's me beatboxing just before at the beginning of my songs when I do that. Mm -hmm. So this is fun. Watch this. So I could change that pitch. I can go in here and pick a different sound. Um, Here's electronic. This is cool. Um, I can, let me see here. Here's synth. This, this. There's so there, you can just have a lot of fun with it. Here's a, a vinyl. Like I was scratching on an album. And that was cool. So what I ended up doing was I ended up saving this part as its own little video element that I can now drop into all my at my uh, little short reels for this nature, this promos. So I don't have to keep doing this every time. Hell no, no. That's, that's, this, this is, is something, something I want to speak to because, because I, find I find it frustrating, frustrating and you can't, can't have, have like, like a template. template. Mm -hmm. Something. something where you, you have, have your, your assets, assets that you, you always, always use it. Yeah, well, what I do to save that for me, because because it would be nice if they had in here, but, mm -hmm. you know, they don't. So I have a... Um, let me see, I was just transferring videos from my last gig. I have created a folder, um, and I call them video assets. So they're my graphics, and here's my video assets. And now I've just got this folder. I've got all the, everything you see here in the li the media library mm -hmm. right here in my folder. And all I got to do is select them all drag and, and, drop. Drop. and drag and drop and I'm in. So that kind of defeats that same purpose that you were talking about that, that cap cut doesn't have. Yeah. Um, but what I also do is I will show you, I'll get out of this, go back to the main page. Of course it saves everything. And right here, see this, uh, I don't know if it shows the name of it. This is called the end clip. This is exactly that end piece that I created, right? Mm -hmm. I just, what I did is I say, the cool thing, this is one of the things I love about CapCut as well. I'm going back here to the homepage. I can go in here and I can right click and duplicate it. And then I'll, that way I can open it up and change it like I did here. So I duplicated the original project and now I've got this and all I did was go in, remove everything except the part I needed. And now mm -hmm. I've got this little clip. I can still go in here and, but if you noticed here in my 
assets, this is the final uh, rendered version of this project. So I don't have to edit, I don't have to drop all these assets in at the same time. All I got to do is drop in the full video. And just slice, slice it on. on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's already, yeah, just drop it in at the end, mm -hmm. you know? So I create what I, and I've learned to do that stuff within, you know, Premiere and everything because you can, you can create something that you want to just keep using, but you don't want to keep messing with the same assets yeah, every yeah. time, you know, all the elements to it. So we just, you know, turn that into a smaller project, render it out. And now you've got this guy who you drop in in your project every time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll go back and show you uh, some of my life loops that I do. Here's a life loop. So here's my life loop edit. And as you can see, I also have these are these are elements from my life loops, right? Mm -hmm. And that is the the end the end clip. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you're not really then. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry man. I'm still getting right. used to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. Um and then there I so I as as we both know, this is the long version. This is the so regular even your budget. sibling success. Your best I'll show you. for those who don't know, this is my life loops product. We are all perfectly imperfect. Imperfection is our nature. We strive for perfection. Do we ever reach perfection? I and as you can see down here in the, in the timeline, all of these are the cuts, right? That's a long ver that's a long video. But these are all the cuts that I made with that feature. When you go in, you select your long clip and you come down here to remove filter words. Mm -hmm. that's the that's the ai feature that we were talking about mm -hmm. uh -huh. and it allows you to go in and edit you still have to go through and edit um but it does detect it does detect um the ums and the ahs <laughs> and also detects your your gaps your spaces so you can go in there and kind of edit them out yeah, yeah must must on, on the, the last, last um, um update that, that you made, made, made significant, significant it did because when i noticed, noticed me um, checking, checking out my video, video it called all my ums and, and ahs um, that's impressive well the, the um, spaces on there because i checked check them all, all. And, and it um, even catches when you say something big repetitively big than when, when it first, first came, came out, out. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah sorry, sorry i take that yeah yeah so this is a uh, that I love the that feature. I mean, the idea. I don't know if it's a feature, but it's really cool having this home page. And then you go in here, you right click, duplicate it. You now you can edit the same pro same uh, project. I do this all the time with. Um, as you notice here, you see this this titled sixteen nine, mm -hmm. um, and here this one is titled uh, nine sixteen, right? So I I make a a regular format and then I also do a, a long format a um, a social media format profile story story uh, uh, aspect ratio size so that way I can I still have all the edits the cuts and all the all of the um the, all the assets all the the captions and all I got to do is go and change the aspect ratio and modify the, the cuts. Mm. This, this is, is going to come, come in, in handy, handy with, with um, you, know, you know, the, the smart, smart supplies. supplies. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so when, when you've got, got, let's say, 20, 20 projects, projects, you can, you can get, get out of that, that smart, smart supplies. supplies. Yeah. Do, 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 do. And then, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So you're you're creating you're creating as much content as you can, and we're all trying to do it in, in a rush now, since <laughs> that's that's the name of the game. Um, instead, you know, as it, there's always the AI way to go, you know, 
Um, and that's, that's a feasible way. But if, if you don't have the funds to go purchase those subscriptions, you know, this is, this is even a faster way without it. Um, and you have control of what you're creating too, as well. Um, I think, uh, I had a thought I was going with and I just lost it. Um, <laughs> where is it to edit out my ums and ahs right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think, um, the cool thing is with, um, like your edit. Oh, you know what? I got an, I have an idea. Why don't you pull up one of your, your project that you did? Which and one? And I'm going to walk you through something. I have an idea. Uh, one of the ones you did with your long form contact. And you, and you, you want me to take, take over and show the screen? screen? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to turn that off here. And move that. I'm going to try screen share my audio. Now you can hear you yourself go. better. Oh, oh, that's much better. <laughs> <laughs> Clarity. Clarity. Yeah. All right. Okay. What are you going to take me through? I'll so, start with a fresh one. All right. What do you want to do? No, I got to get some myself. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> so, so you, you have, have these guys. These guys. We'll, we'll just do, do a, a quick, quick little, little edit. edit. So, so drop, drop some, some of these little, little clips in here. here. There was something, something I was going to show you that was really, really cool. cool. Hold on. What's the, what happened there? Hold on. That was interesting. Hold on. Just bear with me. I highlighted three why did it not uh um, they're actually sitting on each other and that's what i love about it. you know when you okay all right okay so i'm gonna put three together individually okay, okay. all right oh that's why it's a one second uh, spit uh, how strange is that that's why, that's why. Yeah, yeah. and that's even smaller oh what's going on there Okay. All right. And let's try one more time. That's about one minute. And so, yeah. yeah. Right. There we go. So, so just, just shorten them up, up for, for uh, the purpose, purpose of example. example. Right. And that comes up to, oh my God. No wonder why. All right. Let's try this shorter one. So on. And zoom in. There you go. There you go. All right. Yeah, hold on a second. Now, so oh, we click on it. We click on Yeah. Hold on, just bear with me. I've got a 16 here. That's a 16 second. And what is this? And that's a 56. And um, hold on. What I'll do is I'll shorten this. You can even. You can even. There you, go. there you go. Right. And um, I'll do uh, that one. And I will shorten that too. All right. So we've got three cuts here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, now, so now, let's say you're, you're going to turn this into, into, into uh, nine, nine by 16, 16 aspect, aspect ratio. ratio. All right. Now you, now see, you see you have, you have go to go through, through and, and edit, edit. Each clip, Each clip make, them make them fit within, within that, that space, space, right? right? Mm -hmm. so, so, as you as saw, saw in my, in my life loops, um, I, was I was going, going I had to I had do, that do that with, with probably, probably, gosh, gosh 50, 50 to 100, 100 clips. clips. Okay. That's, that's very time, time consuming. consuming. Yeah. So, so what you can, can do is, is highlight, highlight them all. Them all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Highlight them all. And then up in the... Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. it. Uh, uh, what's, what's that? that? Rotate? No, 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 no. no. You're not, you're not going to rotate. rotate. Um, oh, I closed, oh, I closed my, my cap, cap cut. cut. I, I think, think it's, it's... I can't, I can't see, see it on, it on your screen. screen. I'm going to tell, tell you in a second. second. I would have thought, as they're all selected, I should be able to... Uh, okay, we're, we're looking at scale. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. So, so first, first select, select them all. all. Yep. And scale it. Are they all selected? 
Yeah. Do you want me to do okay, that? Okay. And they, and they sh- I usually, I usually go, go into, into the percentage, percentage over there, there and type, type in, in the percentage. percentage. For, me, for me, it's 317. And they, oh, they, they, they snap right to it. To it. That's, I hope that's quite close. Yeah. Okay, so I've got 318. I'll put the 7 because you, you do 7. So you mm-hmm. say now all of these are the same ratio. Yes, they are because we selected yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Huge, yeah. huge time. time river. Yeah. But not only that, I would have thought... Uh, let's go forward. Um, I would have thought if we go to ratio 916, highlight everything, and also I would have thought the this works too. I'm not saying this is what we need to do, but and we should be able to freeform, resize, mm-hmm. and that should do the same thing. Let's check if that's the case. Yes. Oh, oh, that yeah. messed when up. When I do that. that when I try when to try select some them all, all and then, and then free free form, form no, it only yeah, selects the, the one I want to That's the logs because it did yeah, the yeah. others, but the others were the other two ain't quite right. Yeah. So yeah. you're totally right. Reform is a bug. They haven't got that quite right. So, um, hold on. It works, it works independently, independently on, each on each clip, clip but if but you're trying, trying to do, do multiple clips, clips it's, it's a challenge. A challenge. Yeah, so let's try something else though. So as we know, freeform doesn't work; it's buggy, right? Mm-hmm. So let's rotate it via here, maybe. Let's do a ninety on that. Um, obviously, it's not the right ratio. I just want... right, right. Oh, mm-hmm. look, it's done it. Yeah, yeah. When oh, I when I use the the controls, the controls up in the right, right panel, panel, yes, and I'm, and I'm, just, I'm, I'm adding, adding the, the the correct, the correct uh, uh, numbers, numbers in, there. in there. Yeah. Percentage, Percentage and, position. and position. Yep. Rotation. What, it, it, it will affect all, all of them. That are, you're that are totally selected. right. The numbers were spot on when you use a number. When you're using this um, handle, it's buggy. Yeah. Yeah. So at least we know that for the future, where if we use the number system, mm-hmm. then you can affect everything one time. Yeah. Which yeah. Is really it, handy. The response, response to the data. data. Yeah. That's that's really handy. I really like that. And obviously, if I click on everything again and resize and scale, well, I've, well, been, I've been creating, creating a, a bunch, bunch of, of uh, videos, videos for life, life loops, loops, and I've been, and I've been doing, doing individually, individually every, every clip. clip. Listen, was, it's understandable, man. Um, yeah, yeah. Because I was doing the same thing, and not until you showed me that one thing, and then I worked it out how to take this further. But yeah, um, yeah. I'm really glad you showed me this because it is. I say that you've got loads. Yeah, exactly. It's a hack because you, you've got. You, listen, if we wanted to do like, um, because I'm just about to go into short longs, and what I mean by short longs is doing, you know, longs and putting them into two minutes, mm-hmm. and two and a half minutes. So can you imagine if I've got about five six of these together? At That's just, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> and you've just saved a huge amount of time, and all you have to do is resize the timeline. That's so they mm-hmm. make them small like that, highlight everything one time, and bam. And uh, what would have taken you about two minutes is just taking you literally five seconds. Mm-hmm. So that's a good well, well, it's, it's a lot, a lot longer, longer than two minutes, minutes when you're doing, doing like, yeah. like 50, 50 to 100, 100 clips. clips. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 That's crazy. So, what other hacks have you come across? What other? Well, that, that was, was a big, big one for me. me. Right. The other the thing, thing is, is uh, um, like, like asset, asset management. management. Keeping, keeping like like I showed, I showed you, keeping, keeping the video, video asset in one folder, folder. Mm. and then and I'm able to drop, drop them into a project, project really quick. Really quick. Mm-hmm. Um, I, yeah, do I do that on all, all my video, video projects, projects all the time. time. So, so every, every for example, for example here, here I'm, I'm going to show, show you my, my yeah, go my you take over real quick. You take over. Here's my screen. So, here we go. So here's, as you can see, I've got a ton of videos. I'm, I'm always, so I've got a big uh, array, uh, storage array for, for my data that mm-hmm. I keep. And then here's some, my I, sh- I have, on my gig, I have three cameras. I've got 
two 360 cameras. And then I also have one little GoPro that sits on my the headstock of my guitar. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just capturing footage from all different angles. The cool thing about the 360s are is I, it just records everything from all angles all the time. And then I can edit those in right here in my, my studio. Mm -hmm. So for every gig I play, I keep those. Um, let me find where it was. There we go. So for every gig I play, I've got like two 360s. I've got A and B, and then I've got all my GoPros. Mm -hmm. And then that way, I, I so I'm always keeping my my uh, my footage and and videos organized. I've got them organized by the the date and so forth. And then, mm -hmm. so I'm doing the same thing with um, when it comes to the video assets. Um, I got my graphics and video assets and boom, I just take that in, drop it into a project and I'm golden. And if I develop anything along the way in the future, I'll just drop them in here too, as well. All of these you can see are PNGs. So they work perfectly in that environment. Um, what, what, what I can, can show, show you is, is um, how, how you, you can, can turn, turn these, these shapes. shapes. These shape shape assets, assets into um, video assets. Um, what I mean by that, like a video smarts. Uh, let me show you, Chris, quick. Okay. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. okay, 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 okay. All right. Um, so basically, um, all right, let's find um, some stickers. <clears throat> So we've got arrow here, right? Yeah. So we can put the arrow on the timeline. Let's say we put it at the beginning. And um, and with the arrow, obviously, you can add an automate. You know about animation. You know mm -hmm. all of this animation and tracking and et cetera. Oh, yeah. But what you can do, you can click right click on it, and you can create it as a compound click, a clip. Oh, which turns it into a video asset. Nice. And now if you look in the top right hand, you've got video asset options. Okay. On these stickers, texts, effects, oh, whatever. Any of those. And that's a hack. Oh, that's sweet, man. So you not only have what you had before, which was powerful enough with the options it gave you, but now you have the options that you get with the video assets, which is far more that you get up here, mm -hmm. as you already know. With just the icon, exactly. yeah. Exactly, and you yeah, can yeah. do that with all your icons. And so so what I usually do, um, I put a, a few icons together, animate them how I want, then turn mm -hmm. it into a, a um, how would you call it, into a, a compound. Okay. Um, and then you have all these cutouts and masks Okay, and stuff like that you can just use with it, and you can un enhance it and etc. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so if you click on it, like click on it, you can mask it. You can't do that with when they're just standard in their entirety, sure. right? When they're right. a sticker or a text, or, you're very limited. But by doing that, you have access to all of these extra things, tracking, even tracking. Yeah, you can track yeah. them. And that stuff is like cool. That. I love the tracking. So, um, I have to play with that. So that does that still have the same thing as like having the the PNG where it, yeah. it's okay yeah yeah it treats it as a video asset exactly okay. as a video it turns it into a video asset and anything with you can do with PNG. the video is nice. exactly the same thing cool cool um, man that's neat it is and I know you would know how to hack the hell out of that left right far oh, far awesome. more than me far awesome. more than me that cause now because of your background <laughs> right. Um, so I know the next time I speak to you, you go, oh, Eli, look what I can do. And I'll be <laughs> going, wow, how did you do that? Um, that's cool. Yeah, that is. That is good. So that's something that I, I learned um, and I found was amazing. I couldn't believe what you could do with stuff like that. Um, I, You know, CapCut is such a powerful but simple program to use, and it's such a pleasure to use. It can be buggy, and when I find out it's buggy, I just shut the program and open it up, and it's fine. That's good. Um, 
yeah. yeah. I haven't had any issues with it being too buggy. Yeah. yeah. Just the, just those little things like, you know, selecting the, and trying to change the, the aspect ratio. I mean, trying to adjust the size mm -hmm. of um, the clips in the, in a different aspect ratio, like we were going through and trying to do that free form mm -hmm. that would, but you know, the other hack is just use, using the data instead that works, works for me. Yeah. But I'm, I'm loving it. I'm having a ball creating with it, as you can see. Um, I'll show, let me see. I got, uh, Oh yeah. Cause you've got the overlay. Look, you've got all this overlay and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is nice. Stability. Yeah. So I know you're going to have fun with that. So yes, have you got yes. anything else you want to show? That's it for now. I was kind of, I was just wanted to show you my latest couple of things that I was doing with the reels. Um, I use them. I'm, I'm really using it for that. And then of course with our other stuff that we do in our course uh -huh. and, um, and then, uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm digging it with my life loops and my music stuff. The life loops has been something that's fun. It's been fun to take on. Um, but uh, the the ability to just go in there and edit, fill in, you know, remove the gaps, and 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 I'm hoping that just keeps continuing to get better. Mm -hmm. um, that's a great, really great feature. Um, it has a great uh, mm -hmm. noise reduction in it. Me you know, personally, got... I'm looking forward to it doing the smart cuts. Oh yeah, it, improving on that because you know that's a big thing in AI at the moment. You got all these companies charging silly monies for cutting up and. I can bet you um, they're going to build right. on that. They're going to build on that because obviously they want to, <clears throat> that, that, for the pro, they're going to want yeah. to really push for that, for people to pay for the pro because people are willing to mm -hmm. pay $30 for these AI softwares for smart cutting. Yeah, um, They're going to be incentivized to create this for the pro. And I think well, it sounds like they already, they're already, think, they're already thinking yeah. in that vein because they've had that feature. Yeah. And that's that's only because I mean you that's only accessible through Pro, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And it's uh, it's it's well worth it. But um yeah, I'm just looking forward to the future and I do love doing video. I'm just, I find it quite fun. It is fun. Yeah. It's fun when it's as easy as this. I can imagine way back in the days it was frustrating, right? Yeah. It is fun. I like it. I I'm, I'm digging it. I'm having a good time. It, the only the only thing is everything is time consuming. <laughs> <laughs> everything is time consuming so but with your machine this shouldn't be a problem especially with this your machine because you got a beast it's got 666 on it doesn't it uh beast <laughs> feels like it so, so it's the beast, beast for sure i'm telling you it's not like mine you know mine you have to power via water <laughs> it's not good man it's not a good look uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, it's just it's just ridiculous. But anyway, it does work, and it's um, I'm just finding it really interesting. This you know this video in this short form is is really hitting, but it's hitting a lot of people massively in a way that it's um. Have you noticed that there's not a lot of reach when it comes to short form lately? A lot of people complain about the reach. Uh, and it depends on different different platforms. Um, mm. I know TikTok, they're they're um, they're kind of pushing for longer form format. Like mm. they like they like the what the five to ten minutes mm. uh, length. So, um, but like everything, the I'm I'm always looking at it like the funnel, and the top of the funnel to get people in is usually the short form. It mm. pulls you in, pulls people in. Mm. Um, and um then i think the lives are really good because they're engaging if you have engaging content to share mm. um and for me on my my scott kurtz music page where i'm i'm doing my lives and my music um that's always engaging that's i've been doing that for gosh since 2020 when we got when we got locked down i started doing lives in my house um, cause people wanted to, you know, they were all locked, cooped up in their house. So they, I was entertaining them from my home and that was really cool. And once I started doing that, I said, this is powerful, you know, it's engaging it reaches out to a lot of people. And I've continued, continued doing that. I would do it here in my studio home 
with like three cameras. I did like a multi camera thing, had a little camera switcher. Um, and now just on my gig, I'm just using my iPhone, you know, so people mm-hmm. can pop in and I'm having a conversation, you know, with people while I'm playing and, and, uh, it's fun. So the live engagement is, is good. And that, uh, you know, when I'm performing my, my shortest live is usually a set, maybe one, two, two hours or, or an hour and a half. If I'm playing a three hour gig, I just record all the way through. So it's got mm-hmm. three hours of live going going on to one of the platforms um but i think that way you get to know who's watching you you get to talk to them you get to communicate with them you get to learn what they want and give more of what they want you know exactly i yeah. enjoy i enjoy lives and the dynamics that comes with lives because anything could go wrong but that's mm. life right so yeah. it just it makes it more interesting than a mundane and plus when you're engaging and like we're talking right now mm. um you never know what's going to be said or what's going to happen etc so i prefer lives to be honest and i remember i used to almost crap myself what was it just a few weeks ago really um i think the first time i went live was about four weeks ago mm-hmm. and i thought oh god how am i going to do a live but i tell you as soon as i did a live i loved it because it was engaging you was engaging with people we was engaging with each other and you know it's just like sitting on a coach and chilling out if you a couch and if you think of it that way then it's not stressful if you just right. think of it of, of, we're just chilling and we're just having a conversation and think yeah. of it that way then um um i find it enjoyable and i look forward to it which i'm actually quite surprised yeah um, you fell into a groove with it you and um yeah. I mean, I remember during our classes, we were all talking about like having our, our identity complexes, you know, um, yeah. and for, for me in regards to being a performer and then doing these other, these other, uh, digital platforms, you know, with different, different, uh, niches, you kind of have, you kind of develop this little personal identity thing, you know, is like, what are they going to think of me over here if I'm doing this over here and that, that whole thing. But you know, I, I think you're right about the engagement part right now, right now in this time, in this world, <laughs> this crazy world, I think we can all use a little engagement and, uh, some open communication just opens up the dialogue, you know, here, here I am, you know, in Florida, Southwest Florida. And here you are in, uh, in London, you know, in sunny London and that's sunny, good. sunny, exactly. It's sunny. You I got sun. Three days of it. There's something wrong. You know, you know something's up. You know, <laughs> when when you get three days of sun, and we get too happy, you know, we, <laughs> we really do. We go, oh yeah, it's good. and then bam, we get hit. We and don't want to get too happy. Bli- and then we're in blizzards. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> do you know, because in um, in the UK, you can have four seasons in a day, and that's no joke. I've heard that too. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. and it's 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 no joke. It is like that. Um, so you could be forgiven for being fooled into thinking, yeah, this is it. This is summer. And that's and, why you always um, carry your umbrellas. Uh, you know that. <laughs> and I just add water and kapow, it just explains. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's one of those ones. But um, no, you're totally right. And that's what I love about the lives, you know, being able to engage all over the world. Yeah, um, it is cool. And that's one good thing with the internet that has come about. There's some negative things, just like anything. Anything can be negative. You know, a knife is yeah. a powerful thing and it's a good thing. It's a, allowed yeah. us to eat more efficiently and et cetera, mm-hmm. or put it in the wrong hands. It's dangerous, right? It's always. Um, and the internet has been, yeah. And yeah. the internet has been an amazing thing to, to help yeah. bring everybody together. And yeah, um, I love that. It's just absolutely amazing. So, um, but Scott, yeah, thanks for teaching me your your whole process and sharing each other's hacks. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you. Um I I like the whole asset thing where you are storing your everything in a certain folder, certain mm-hmm. dates and etc., which is really important. Yeah. Um especially for yeah. branding, right? We we're all yeah, oh. we're always working on our branding and exactly. Yeah. And I'm I hope that cap cut for the pro version at least 
they're going to um, put some kind of template branding situation in because that's the only thing that's holding me back with CapCut to fully go go in. Because mm-hmm. when you're using up all these other apps that um, cut these shorts, mm-hmm. they're now starting to implement branding. Yeah. So you literally just kind of have brand one, two, and three. You yeah. choose which brand you want, cut it up, please, and it's done it all for you. And um, I'm hoping CapCut is going to do something like that because it would save us a huge amount of time. That'd be cool. Could, you know, but um, we'll see. I suppose they just want to keep things simple and not overcomplicate things because that could complicate things. But Yeah, it, it, I think, yeah. Yeah. And, and also, it, um, you wanna, you're, you're dealing with software, so the more things you add to it, the more buggy it can get if it's not. Exactly. If it's not streamlined. Cool, exactly. man. Well, yeah. I appreciate uh, getting together, my friend. We'll, we'll do have to this do it again. again. Yeah, we'll yeah, do, we do it again. How did you get on with the SEO? Did you you try the software again? Uh, yeah, I did a little bit. Um, I hadn't added anything to it, um, but I'm getting some uh, SEO stuff together for some content. I'm going to be working on, a, on the website. Mm-hmm. And I'm really, really, really interested in a couple of those uh, softwares, the AI writing software. Mm-hmm. Um, was it scale, scale, scale nut, scale nut, and uh, neural writer? And I'm like watching some some other. Of course, I, everywhere I see, it looks like um, Jasper seems to be the leading. Uh, yeah, they are. Writer. I mean, you can't go wrong with Jasper. Jasper is very, very good. It's not the best though, but Jasper. I mean, if you got Jasper, mm-hmm. you're off to the races. Um, yeah. It's 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 up there, but scale not is the powerhouse and it's cheaper. Yeah. Um, but Jasper's good. You know, if yeah. you've got Jasper, that's that, no, that I haven't do. I haven't purchased anything yet. I'm still I'm still in the shopping mode. I'm still well I can window I can, shopping. I can share the new writer, I can make you as um uh and put yeah. one in, in there like that's... I did with my other piece of software because I hardly use it. You shared that with me, I believe. Yeah. We yeah. We had a little uh, video chat about both of those, mm-hmm. Neural Writer and uh, ScaleNut. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're both very Scale, powerful. ScaleNut, um, I can't give you access, unfortunately. But what I can do, um, because I don't use it as much as I I could, mm-hmm. but whenever you're interested, when you you need it to, to write, then you know I can loan you it. Because oh, I, I don't use it. Because it's unlimited. I can use unlimited. The only thing that's not unlimited is they've got the SEO side of things where it will go out and check the SEO for it and blah, blah, blah. blah. And I'm limited to that. But when it comes to right. writing, I've got mm-hmm. unlimited writing, yeah. which is powerful. It's, um, and yeah. I, what I can do is do a quick thing to help you how to, to do that and to do that mm-hmm. effectively. But you will be amazed. They've actually upgraded everything. It's much faster. But oh. it's gonna shock. It's gonna shock you when you you scale wow. it. At uh, some yeah. point. At some yeah, point. I, I'm. I'm really seriously thinking about jumping in on that. So, yeah, because I I really need to get get going, start producing, creating content, be the yeah. content beast. <laughs> All right, my man. So what I'll do? I will speak to you. Yes, soon. sir. And as, as pleasure as always. Yes, sir. We'll do it All again. Right. Looking forward so, to it. Sayonara. Back at you.